My name is Jennifer Von Bargen. I'm a laboratory geneticist here at Abernathy Fish Technology Center. So a genetic baseline is where we've gone into these natal streams and have sampled fish so that we genetically know what each of these different streams and tributaries look like for the population. Abernathy has worked with the Washington State Fish and Wildlife um, to help develop a baseline for bull trout in the Yakima Basin. So some of the limitations and challenges for creating a genetic baseline um, is being able to maintain it. So we have genetic samples, both tissue archived as well as DNA. The DNA we have in freezers for since the lab started. So we have DNA that's been stored for almost 20 years. At some point we might run out of freezer space. <laughs> But for now, we just keep saving, especially with the bull trout, because Abernathy is a designated conservation repository for bull trout samples. Um, and so we also have the tissue archived in the storage in a flame-proof building. So if we're not able to pass fish above the dams, then they cannot spawn in their natal habitat. Um, and in essence, the population will then start to decrease um, as fish move past those dams and then can't get back to spawn. We will start to lose those populations. So when we capture a fish, we put them into a holding pen um, that's in the, in the river. So we use a variety of methods. Uh, we do hook and line sampling. Uh, we use tangle nets and occasionally we also use standard dip nets. Now all the equipment that we use, we try to um, do in a way that prevents any sort of impact to the fish. And then one by one, once we're done collecting fish, we anesthetize them for about five minutes. And during that time then, we take a tissue sample that we send off to Abernathy for um, genetic analysis. And we also implant a pit tag into the fish so we can track their movement throughout um, the rivers in the basin. And um, generally, uh, we haven't seen any issues uh, with fish recovering from being anesthetized or having the pit tag or um, tissue sam sample collected. We're allowed to hold fish for up to 48 hours, but Abernathy gets the results back very rapidly. And so we're usually holding the fish for less than 24 hours. So it's important to transport the bull trout back to their natal streams so that their genes will be passed on because bull trout have adapted to very specific conditions to these different tributaries. And so by them being able to go back to them, they can pass that information on to the next generation. So once we receive samples from the field, we bring them into the lab and then we have to extract the DNA from them. And so we use a Kelex protocol to do that. That's a very quick dirty way to get to the DNA. We then take that and boil that reaction up to 103 degrees, um, and that helps to break open the cells and get the DNA free floating. Once we have that DNA, then we can amplify the DNA using genetic markers. Um, and we run that through the genetic analyzer that will visualize that for us. And then we are able to assign those genotypes back to the baselines, the baseline samples that we have that genetic information for already. And then once we have that information, we send it on to the biologist in the field um, for them to make the decision of what to do with those fish.